expanded dramatically and now almost entirely focused on removing Aboriginal children. Whereas in 2006-07, that is when the intervention rolled out, 55% uh, of children removed from their families were Indigenous. In 2012-13, it is 89%. 89% Aboriginal children being removed. And Barbara Shaw, who's been a strong spokesperson and sent us many messages of support. Uh, she's a local town camp leader. This is the quote from her. There are strong Aboriginal people in every community who badly need resources and support to help deal with the issues facing our families and keep our kids safe in their culture. It costs almost $300 per night to keep a single child in care. It is sad to see so much funding going to just taking children away since the intervention. At the grassroots, we dream of that sort of money and could deliver far better outcomes for these kids. The DCF, that must be their docs, needs to do more to actually engage with families before removing children. We are all part of extended kinship networks. There is always somewhere they can turn without removing children, but the resources and the support needs to be on the table. So the rest of that statement you can see online. And I'd just like to retell just quickly one story. Um, Paddy Gibson, who's a member of our group, came back from Dagaragu, which is the land of the Gurindji people, uh, Vincent Lingari's descendants. In Dagaragu, when they rolled out the intervention, they cut the CDEP. When they cut the CDEP, it cut away the clinic, uh, social services, everything they needed. Families had to travel 200 miles to go to the baby clinic. If the baby wasn't putting on weight, it became a, a, you know, a light or an alarm to their fax docs workers. What happened in Dagaragu was a family with five children they flew in, they took the five children, they flew out with those children and took them to Darwin and separated them in five different families. And the family in Dagaragu were desperate to get, to try and find where their families are. I know there's so many heart-wrenching stories, you know, that we've heard them today. But this is what's happened through the intervention, through this hideous policy that was supposed to save the children. I won't say any more, but please, if you want to be in contact with us and stay in contact with this whole movement, please uh, give us your name and uh, we're a bit slow getting it on the database, but we'll be able to keep contact. Thank you. Thanks, Gabby. Yeah, it seems to be a... Seems to be